It's the Friday Wrap with Pete and Ree, and you know, you always feel good on a Friday. I feel great today. Oh, yeah, Although absolutely. it's hot. Studio J, because we were not supposed to be in Studio J today shooting the Friday no. Wrap. We were supposed to be down uh, at the Niagara Falls Mist Rider Zip Line, and we were going to do some riding and then do the wrap from a great location. So we got had to come back to studio because we got massive thunderstorms, which were horrible. Yeah, I don't want to be on the zip line when it's cracking no. lightning and stuff. <laughs> and Something you know with the metal, the metal and the lightning doesn't appeal to me. Yeah, you know you're <laughs> over water. Yeah, you know it would be us two like two fried sausages at the end of the ride. <laughs> yeah. Who are they? Who are they? Hey, look at they'll do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to them. <laughs> yeah. No. So, anyways, we're in Studio J, and uh, we're hopefully. Next week, and the weather's going to be nice, we'll be down at the zip yeah. line uh, hanging by the fall. <laughs> yeah, having fun. So now we uh, put out some uh, questions in our contest, and we had a lot of responses on our Facebook messaging and uh, on, our, on our site, and nobody got it. No. And well, that's just kind of weird. There were a few, you know, like John Elway and people like that, that people said, but the best two, the number two quarterbacks in the world ever, number two was Joe Montana. One of my faves. Yeah, he's amazing and was amazing. And Peyton Manning Which was number me. one. Really surprises it, me. Well, apparently it was taken by all the stats, at, you know, as far as throwing, distance, running, how many times he got touchdowns, all everything combined. So it wasn't just one thing or another. It was a lot of stuff that went into that. He's Eli like, Manning was in there, but he was way down, like 17th. Where was Brady? He was like fourth. He, he was, third yeah, he was third or fourth, yeah. So right. he was up there. Nobody got it. No, nobody <laughs> did. But thanks for playing along. And yeah. hey, like and subscribe on our site because, hey, you can do stuff like this with us. And we love, if you have something that you want us to talk about, send it to us. We'll do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And then we had the uh, cereal quiz, which we did. she told me <laughs> off air, she said, not in a million years, Pete, not in a million years are yeah. you ever going to know what this is. Well, you forgot. I love cereal. You're, yeah, and, and you're a kid at heart. So, and, and we're not talking about adult cereal. So no. you're talking about moving the bowels and stuff. Is, no, you know, we're not talking about not fiber. Your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no fiber in this. But the number two cereal was Captain Crunch, which is my favorite. I was I was a Crunch guy too. Yeah, I love that. And the number one was yours, which was Fruit, Fruit Loops. Loops. No, I have to say Crunch was my favorite. Yeah, Fruit Loops. I was okay with. Yeah, okay. I was. That was my favorite. Yeah. But hey, that's that's what people chose. So. We had a busy week, we and uh, yesterday we were with Dr. Peter Sacco, the ghost chaser, and he's got a great show. Uh, Niagara's Most Haunted. Yeah, and we were guest hosting. Now, honestly, we didn't have a clue what we were doing. We walked there and thought, okay, Pete's going to be there, we're going to follow him. He's, oh, no, you guys are... I just thought players. I was going to follow him around like, you know, a kid or something, go, oh, okay, that's what we do. Yeah, and but no, he just said, oh, here's yeah. the equipment, you do it. And I'm like, what? Yeah, and you're supposed to talk to ghosts. And then when they handed me this thing, I put it on my ears and I go, this is super sensitive. You're going to hear your toenail touch your the skin of your toe, right? And I'm going, yeah, right. I put it on. I mean, it was just deafening, You said it's right? horrendous. And that's so you can talk to the ghost. And that at that point, I went... Because <laughs> you would be the only one to hear it because it was so sensitive, it would go into your headphones and record on the recorder that you had. Yeah. So now, truthfully, it was hot. It was sunny. There wasn't the, the wind was not moving. Yeah. And as they said, we're ready to go. We want you guys to come in now. Big the, clap of thunder and lightning. And wind. Yeah. Just blew up. But so. just one, and then yeah. it stopped. As soon as we got inside, it was over. Yeah. yeah it was. Uh, and then we went into this room. We're not going to tell you the whole story because you have to watch this. And yeah. The show actually for with uh, Peter comes out on Halloween. Halloween. And you'll see us there doing the investigations and initially not knowing what the heck we're doing <laughs> yeah. and what we're going to see. But we but, got into it. I got into yeah, it. Yeah. I know you did too. Yeah. Well, we were. I see. I've had premonitions and things, especially when I was young, uh, all my life. And sometimes I feel it. And so let I did in, too. Let him in on I, this. Let him in on this one because we had the uh, psychic medium come in, uh, Susan Carter. Yes. So what happened? I was there an hour or two before she. Yeah. Came. Well, she comes in and she asked me to walk her around. You were busy, so I walked her around the facility. And the first thing she did was walk into this room and this little like four by four area, and she stood there and she went, 
this is not good right here. I get a, a sore feeling in my stomach. Th <laughs> this area right here, she said, I don't think it has anything to do with the school. It maybe has something to do with Indians before that, whatever history there was behind that land. But she said, there's something not good right here. Something bad happened right here. So then we went and did the whole tour, came back, got you, and you said to her, can I bring you somewhere? I just want to see what you think of this. He brought her exactly to the spot she said something, like the exact spot and that I she said up. something know, was me. wrong and you said the same thing and they were not in the same room at any time and had not to talked be honest about with this. You, I have never met the lady before. Yeah. She was late because she went to the wrong, wrong place. place as we almost yeah. did because there is uh, Willowbank which is associated with the Willowbank school now which is actually the Laura Secord, Secord school, school which is built in 1914. Now you're going to see Peter's show on October 31st. Yeah. We did a little piece with Peter after the event yes. where you get some insight and then after that, we got outside because it was creepy in there. Even yeah. though it was broad daylight, yeah, it was creepy. Yeah, you just had, like, I had goosebumps. I had yeah. goosebumps. I really did. So then we went outside, and then uh, Susan uh, Carter um, actually did a reading on you, which you got to see. Very interesting. Yeah. Live. Nothing pulled. You didn't know what was going to happen. No, I said, didn't. So. Well, why don't we hold that till we come back on Friday Wrap with Pete and Reed in a minute. Welcome back to the Friday Wrap with uh, Pete and Reed. And the date today is August the what? 12th. The 12th, if you can imagine. It's August the 12th. Summer, you know what always happens. It's slow, 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 and then it goes. <laughs> oh, I know. September will be here before we know it. Yeah, and it, you know, you think September, you kind of think Halloween-y, but and you did a little Halloween-y thing yesterday because <laughs> when we were talking to uh, uh, Sue, mm -hmm. and if you go on our Facebook now and just search, um, you're going to see a piece where we were talking to her after. It was a selfie we did after we had shot with her. Yes. To our surprise, as we took things down, there was, there was slime. slime. And you know, you're talking about Ghostbusters and slime and ectoplasm. I thought or that was it just uh, bunk. So did I. I really so, did. So did I. And it's Until the I got second slime. time it's happened to me this year now. Really? Yeah, because I was you in Boston. You must be the slimey or slimer. <laughs> must be the, I must be the slimer, yes, but we all know that. No, I, I went to Boston. I was shooting over there and I went to touch the camera after, after a break and I had slime on my hand and I said, oh my God, I can't be really feeling that because we had a lot of weird things happening and then I had it on my And then the girl, another camera person, she says, let me feel it. She went, oh my gosh. And then it was on another piece well, too. Well, I had some happen yesterday and then we were shooting in a completely different area where there was no slime with Susan Carter and when she stood up, there was slime on the chair, slime on her purse. It was just like... Yeah, go to the Facebook There's and see no the chair. way. There was only the three of us yeah. there. There's yeah. no way that could have happened. Yeah, and we I brought the chairs up. It wasn't on there. And it was only things... It was her leather purse, even all the way up her leather strap, not yeah. on her clothes, and on our leather... These aren't leather she, chairs, yeah. but they appear to be leather. So that's where it was. And I touched initially. It was like toothpaste, and then it went hard. We couldn't get it off. So yeah. it was really weird. You yeah. had a reading. Now, we did that live. So if you if, when the show comes up next week, it's live. There was nothing edited, and so she's playing nope. cards. Were you not a little nervous that she was going to say, <laughs> uh, by the way, Rita, uh, you run around naked uh, in the streets of St. Catharines. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Uh-oh, you're dead tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> like, Health? Well, let's just pass oh, on well, that. Yeah, let's move it on. But it's actually really good stuff. It was really they good They have stuff. to watch. Yes, yes. We're going to keep it to ourselves. you got to watch. Yeah. Subscribe, like. Yes. Now, Beer Fest starts tomorrow. And, of course, if it's tomorrow you're watching this, it starts today. And if it's Sunday, well, it's one day <laughs> left. You're confusing Monday, me already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the Beer Fest, first one in Niagara Falls, going to be really great. Um, we're going to get a chance to go down to talk to David Faustino. And you're going, well, who's well, David say, yeah. Faustino? And uh, he, he's actually Grandmaster B. And if you watch this show, you will know who Grandmaster B is. Grandmaster B? Yes. Really? Yeah, he's a DJ now. Oh, I didn't know that. But Bundy. Bud and if you Bundy. watch the show, they always made fun of him because that's when he flipped his hat backwards. Right. He was supposed to be Grandmaster B, remember? Right. So we're going to be talking to Bud Bundy um, tomorrow. So you'll see that next week. Right. Also, wait which was from the, I believe it was the... 1990s. 90s, in the 90s, 90s, in the mid-90s, 94. Yeah. So they had some great hits right across North America. California was yeah, one of them. California's one. And then they broke up mm -hmm. and went their own separate ways. But, um, A Niagara band. Yes, very and very good musicians. Dave, who is, uh, he's a, he writes in Thompson, uh, Nashville. Yeah. And uh, then we have... Um, uh, Paul Gigliotti. Paul Gigliotti, who was the uh, lead singer. And anyways, they're having a reunion on Sunday at the Beer Fest. 
we're going to be talking to them. So if you like your music, you yeah. definitely want to come I'm hoping up. they're going to stay together because they're really uh, they uh, amazing. They make a good team. Yeah, amazing. And then uh, we're releasing, actually, at 5 o'clock today. And again, I could go through the whole weekend scenario. But anyways, 5 <laughs> o'clock today because it's the Friday wrap. <laughs> You're confusing me. Dallas Smith, superstar amazing country, country artist. Amazing country And you know, country artists are always really interesting because they have great stories and they're not afraid to tell it. And it was really interesting talking to him. It was. And he was nervous. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he, he was, was really, a little nervous. He, he got calmed but, down. But he, he calmed after a while. But he's got great songs like Wasting Gas and oh, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so that's a great show. You're going to want to see that. We shot that on location in Kitchener at the Stampede Corral. Um, they treated us wonderful up there. It yeah. was really, really wonderful. Uh, we got invited to the CCMAs. And we just we filled do. out all our stuff today, so... Just filled out the forms for credentials. <laughs> they don't know who they're letting in. Exactly. <laughs> she shouldn't have said that. And <laughs> now they know. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> and I want to remind people, too, that uh, Falls You Fury, which was the bodybuilding thing that we went to, and, of course, I had worked out and had major muscles. You oh, yeah, at Scotiabank. Yeah. yeah, and then for some reason it went off YouTube. We don't know why, but it is now up. Back so you up. can watch it. Yeah. That's with Tanya Weston Company. Great show. Uh, and, you know, this. you watch this because... They're going to tell you that it doesn't take as long to look like they do. Now, I come on. Please. I still can't believe it. I, I, I think they really were just like yeah. so pumped up and going, yeah, it only took me a couple weeks to do this. But you're <laughs> going to see that as well. Now, if you like magic, Greg Fruin and Danny Z are on our YouTube site. Go there, subscribe. You're going to love those shows. And like us. Subscribe and like us. Please. And we'll be bringing you more shows as we go along and some great stuff coming up. And uh, we also, uh, Mini B. You know what? There's a guy, oh, he's just mini-me. He just said there went like this right beside. But he's actually a very interesting guy, and he's very funny. So get on our uh, site, subscribe, and, and enjoy. Listen, have a great weekend. If, I don't care where you are. If you can get to the Beer Fest in Niagara Falls, Come on Falls, down, Canada, say hi if you see us. Yeah, yeah. And we'll, uh, we'd love to have you come by and say hi. Actually, yesterday when we were filming uh, our ghost piece, we had put the uh, selfie on, and then one of our fans came and said, ah, yeah. I saw you guys, I heard yeah, you were doing this, exactly. and down they we came. We love that. So, yeah, be welcome. you're welcome to do that anytime. Have a great weekend. We love you. Stay with us. And uh, you know what? I guess y'all have to keep saying that now. Yes, we do. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> it was so fun, though. Yeah. I want to do it again, though, in the dark. Yeah, see, I would imagine, because I felt weird when I went in there when it was daylight, but I know, I know when it's dark, you won't survive. Oh yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah I so will. I'm, I want to go in though, like two o'clock, you know, in the morning, because it's supposed to be the regime time between two and three. That type of thing. Now, what about John? I was wondering if uh, did you have? I any? think John will yeah. probably. How was it with the camera? Did you see anything? No, I was looking. But now the door was closed yeah. by itself. Yeah, that's 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 cool. That's cool. Oh.